Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I agree. I agree. Super. Yeah. Yeah. Shoe of Grand Tosa uh, Drive in Tosa. Mr. Shoe. Yeah. Mr. Shoe. Yep. I'm standing up. I, oh, you had to get back into your seat. Mm -hmm. I can't walk through. Mm -hmm. I'm occupied with citizens. Okay. 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 Um, I, I have just a quick comment. You're saying that the water rise is all fictitious and fake. Look at Miami. Look at Bangladesh. That's all I can tell you. My question is this, the Republican Party went and spent a half, one and a half trillion dollars on this wonderful tax cut that's going to benefit as far as I'm concerned. Basically, not me, not anybody who has, and nobody in this room unless you're over $300 million. And I see this go along, and now I hear, oh, we have this deficit, and every time Every time the Republicans get in to spend money, they spend money, and then they want the Democrats to bail them out and get rid of the deficit. Both Carter, I mean, sorry, both Clinton and Obama worked on getting down the deficit. And now it's up, and what are they going to come after? They're coming after Social Security and Medicare, because we've got to cut those entitlements, because they're the things that are destroying the country. And he explained to me how you can go and give this much money away and expect the economy to, to go and pick it up because you're going to make the economy better. You look at the stock market jumping up and down. You're going to invest in that? How, how can this one and a half trillion dollars ever be recovered? The answer to that question is simple, through economic growth. <laughs> <laughs>